Gary, I watched a video interview that you did where you talked about for a while you were in San Francisco, you had long flowing hair, and you were kind of a lost <laughs> soul. You know, and it, it sounded actually very romantic and intriguing. What if someone's over 35, over 40, and there's sort of that wanderer, that lost soul, and they are having trouble harnessing these creative ideas? Because we know a lot of dreamers, and you talked about for a while you were that way, you were a dreamer, and all these great ideas, but what a lot of dreamers seem to have is they don't harness those concrete ideas. They don't get them done. How do you fix that? Is that a matter of discipline? You hit the word. I mean, there are people who are dreamers. I was a dreamer. I went to law school in part, not because I wanted to be an attorney, because I wanted to learn an adult language and a discipline and a, a framework where I could ground myself, because I really was quite a dreamer. And it worked. Um, and I am very disciplined in my approach to stuff, which is, you know, I mean, it's one of the great paradoxes. Who wrote the book Flow and the book Creativity, who talks about the 10 paradoxes of the creative personality? And one of them is that you are uh, sort of, um, uh, you know, a, a creative person is all at once uh, sort of playful and, and, and um, unstructured and at the same time incredibly disciplined, right? Um, they are, they live in fantasy worlds, but they're really dog, I mean, doggedly attached to, rooted in, in, in pragmatic reality. There are all these paradoxes. If someone's purely a dreamer, it's going to be tough, right? At some point, you, you, you either get so frustrated that you say, I need a plan, and I need to pursue, I need to take Truby's course, I need to take McKee's course, I need to find some mentors, I need to invest X number of hours every day every day or they're just never going to make any progress i mean that's the truth they won't so you get out of things what you put into them we know that we're taught that and it's true it's uh, um it, it takes hard work it, i've read you know someone asked me how do, how do you how are you so facile with story and, and restructuring story working with writers and, and writing yourself and all that and, and the truth is that I, I, this was about five years ago, ten years ago, I forget. And I realized at that time, I said conservatively, you know, could you figure out how many scripts you've read? I realized it was over 10,000 scripts. Not all of which, obviously, but a number of which I had actually given notes on and rewritten with writers or given notes on, on, on revisions. I had put in so many hours, they say mastery takes 10,000 hours. I don't know if that's actually mathematically true for everybody, but it's a right idea. The discipline to stay the course and say, you know what, I am going to commit to a daily practice that includes so much time toward becoming, what it fill in the blank, the screenwriter. Associate with other screenwriters, take courses write X number of hours a day, read scripts X number of hours a day. I mean, just really live it, if it matters that much to you. And in, in fairness, this is a big point. You talk about someone over 35 or 40, doesn't matter. They say that Hollywood is ageist, <clears throat> and there's some truth to that. And I say, pay no mind. Who cares? When you submit a script, they don't know what you look like. They have no idea how old you are. They're reading a creative work. That's your issue, right? When you show up and they want to buy it, when you show up, believe me, if they really have a purpose behind their decision to buy it, they're going to buy it. You can do things independently. There's a lot of ways. I think that people stop themselves. But if they're 35 or 40 and they're dreaming and they've been dreaming for 40 years and they've never disciplined themselves and they've never really practiced success principles, it's going to be tough. So your rehab, so to speak, Gary's rehab for dreamers, would be get that daily practice, associate with other people of like mind, you know, uh, watch material that you want to have made, things like that. It, it, it's an interesting thing because there's a lot of, quote, study groups and there's a lot of networking that I see go on, but I'm wondering sometimes how much work is really behind the scenes. You know, a lot of people on social media tweeting, and that's all great. But then I'm curious how much actual work gets done. And I think sometimes those dreamers, myself included, I fall into this category, get caught up in some of that other stuff, and then the real work doesn't get done. I, I think many of us would agree that a lot of what we call networking, whether it's through social media or in person, 
is, um, is not the most productive time ever invested, that it can be a wormhole of, that really leads to no great value. And I had a, I had a very successful business, uh, a friend of mine in real estate. Every year he comes up with a new tagline for, um, for, for that year, for himself, which I thought, that's interesting. So his tagline the other year, uh, a year or two ago, was um, fewer, uh, what was the, I'm sorry, it's taking me a second, fewer bigger deals, fewer better people. And I thought, wonderful, he's really going against, he's swimming upstream, right? He's the, he's the salmon, he's going upstream. He's the one who's going against the trend of spending more and more hours in social media and so on and so forth. And it all happened because he lost his Blackberry and he lost all the data, and he decided that he only needed six people. That was it. With six great people in your life, all of whom are committed to helping each other realize their dream and using their Rolodex for the benefit of everybody in that circle, that was all you ever needed. And he's close. That, that, that sounds true to me, more than not. So I think this idea of like networking aimlessly uh, to know superficially to walk home with a bunch of business cards from an event, I'm not sure how useful that is.